Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Made it to the last week of January. Just a couple more months of winter or a lot more, depending on really where you live. Anyhow, we haven't done an international week in a while. And this week we're gonna be focusing on Canadian specific dishes. And I know you're like, we're in America, Canada's not really that far, but they do have some differences. They have some different things they eat that are more specific unto them. So it's like, let's give our neighbors to the north their week. Let's have some fun with it. Today we're making our entree of the week. It is tortillere, it's a meat pie. So the hubby's gonna be really excited for it. And most of it will probably be, get, probably be eaten by him, but it's fine. We're gonna pair it with some veggies <laughs> um, on our sides, uh, just cause I'll need that. But let's get to it. It's time for another episode of Cooking with Caitlin. That's me. Enjoy. All right. So over in our skillet, we've got about a pound and a half of ground beef. With a little salt and a little pepper just while it initially cooks before we add the rest of our seasonings. And we're just going to be keeping an eye on that. Kind of do and crumble like we've done with sausage and all in the past while we do and prep the rest of our stuff. All right. So we've got an onion. And get that excess skin and all off. And for the onion, get you guys down there. We are mincing it, so we're getting it nice and finely chopped. Just getting it as small as we can get it. Say as they all Do that. So just you want it real fine, real dainty, probably smaller than what I'm doing even. Um, so just kind of going in like that can kind of help get them. good and tiny as tiny as you can get them anyway and it's okay if they're a little bit bigger we're not professionals we're home chefs and we're learning and that's all anyone can ask for Whew. la pungent all right i will check back after i'm done getting the rest of the onion done all right our other bit of prep is grating one yukon gold tomato, or not tomato, potato. So just grating that, getting that set. I'll check back when we're done. All right, so our beef is cooked. What we're gonna do is drain it all. We want all that fat, all that kind of grease to come off of it. I'm actually even gonna wipe the pan with a paper towel. Just we want all that out that excess out. Then I'm about to take us back into the pan. I'm going to move you guys over so sit tight. All right, so we've got it back in there. We drained it pretty well. There's still a little bit on there. That's always going to kind of be the case. 
going to add that onion we minced. We mince to the best of our abilities. I'm going to add our, more of our spices, more of our seasonings. I'm knocking you guys all around. Mea culpa. We're going to do some fresh garlic just because I've got some still. Just doing a couple of cloves. We can pull that skin out later. Just to pull out some other stuff anyway. But we're getting all that nice fresh garlic flavor in there. Doing more cracked pepper. Do a little bit more sea salt. Doing a quarter tablespoon or teaspoon of allspice. And do about a tablespoon of Worcestershire. And then, is that more? Two bay leaves. Two bay leaves. We're going to add in. And obviously the bay leaves will come out at the end, but we want them while it's all cooking and then simmering and all that. Letting that simmer for a few minutes and we'll check back. All right. Now we're adding a cup and a half of beef stock to it. Just make sure everything's down in there. And then our final thing to add for the inside of it all is that potato we grated. We're just stirring it all in. just occurred to me this might have been a recipe my late grandpa my late peepa would have liked he's a big meat potatoes kind of guy and this is pretty much just that a little seasoning a little onion and it'll get baked into a pie crust in a little bit so 
not bad. All right, we're going to bring it up to a simmer. Let it simmer for about 15 minutes. See it's starting to bubble. So it's starting to simmer. Just kind of want to see it all over. I guess there's more liquid in that area, which might be why. All right, see it bubbling up, simmering. I'm gonna set the timer for 15 minutes, then we'll check back. All right, so it has simmered for 15 minutes. Now we're gonna remove it from heat and let it cool down to room temperature, and then we'll put it in the pot. All right, so we've got our mixture that's gotten to room temp. We put one half, I just did pre-made pie crust. You can make your own if you want. Um, it's just kind of a one less step ah, in the recipe kind of day. It really did all very much absorb. So that's really cool. We're gonna get the little bits that kind of flew elsewhere trying to escape. They can't escape. We won't let them. And my kitchen counter is clean. I clean in between all the stuff we do all the time. Just, just in case. And to save myself time later so that I can really just enjoy the food. All right, we're going to put our other pie crust on top, kind of pinching it into that. So they just kind of form. kind of doing all of that with it. Not the fanciest, but it will do. And then just gonna actually use a different knife for that. Cuts. Need the pockets for it to escape out of all the steam. It's good. And then just did an egg with a little bit of water. Our oven's preheated to 375 and bake this for 45 minutes. We will check back after that. All right, it's about ready to pull out the oven. And actually, I don't know if I've shown you guys, look how cute my mom was for Christmas. We went and saw all these sunflowers back in the summer before she moved. And she made me a little pot holder with it. She's so adorable. Anywho. <laughs> 
here it is, the tortori. I've got to let it cool for about 10-15 minutes and then I will have myself a slice and I will film a picture of it to put in the video. But in case I forget, because I am hungry, bon appetit!